Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Adventures in the Tower of Flight. Have some flying to do. Starting back where we left, that was a little close. That was a red gem? Looks like a lot of money actually. So I don't think we can get health upgrades from money anymore. Um, but we can get it from uh, just finding them. Also, my train of thought there for a second. There we go. Can't get extra lives from flying, however. Or from, uh, yeah. From money. I'm not quite sure what happens if we lose all of our lives. I don't know if that's just like a game over, start over, or, uh, what sort of situation that puts me in. I kind of like this music track, too. So I can't go down through there. Oh wait, maybe I can. Ah, okay, so there's a hidden passage here. The door always closes behind us, so we can never go backwards, so... I'm not sure what I would be missing up above there. Probably nothing major. That is not somewhere to land on. Yeah, so I can attack down, but I can't attack up without dashing. Kind of an important distinction. Looks like maybe that's another entrance there. I can't go down through there. Take care of this turret guy. A lot of treasure chests. Uh, I've got a lot of feathers too, so I could definitely probably buy another resurrection feather in case I needed one. It's basically like an extra life, but better, I guess. This it just reses you right there. Four oh four. Insert internet joke here. All right, if we go up above those, we can't come back down. But I don't think it really matters. Not gonna be able to kill this guy. If we get another boss coming up soon here. Uh, there is a potion. Very nice. So that's another health upgrade. That one's right on the open. There's like an enemy spawner there too. I haven't seen those before. I don't know if I can do anything with that. It doesn't look like I can. Uh, but maybe it only spawns a certain number of enemies and then stops, because it doesn't seem to be spawning more. Oh, nope, yes it is. So it'll have so many enemies out on the screen, and then it'll stop. And then if I kill one, it'll spawn more. Kind of a significant difference to the Mighty Bomb Jack methodology of spawning enemies until you're... Face bleeds. Um, this is this going backwards now? This does look like we're going back down the tower, doesn't it? Like in the same area that yeah. Interesting. I wonder if um this passage over here. No, I still can't go there. So we're basically we did a loop here. Maybe this loop was just for extra money. Or kind of like a hidden area sort of deal. Because I definitely can't... Oh, wait, yes, I can. Huh. Oh, well, he did... Wow, we saw this a long time ago. This little treasure area here. Interesting. Where's this going to take me now? Oh, we're back here again. This is really weird. So I'm like, I'm kind of looping? Because, uh... Like, I think if I go in this door, it's going to take me back to where I was, and I can't go backwards. So we're actually going to have to complete this section to go back around to get back where we were going. The question I, I wonder is then, can we just loop infinitely? Okay, I don't think those gems would still be there, but these are here, so maybe they would be? I'm trying just to avoid enemies here, there's just a lot to fight.
Yeah, this is weird, because this takes me back down here. So I've kind of got, like, an infinite money loop if I wanted one. I don't think I do, because I would like to continue, but... If I needed to farm money or anything, I'm, it seems like I could here. Okay, we can't attack down while we're in air, only if we're on ground. But I don't want to go through that door again. Alright, so this should take me back out to the main area where I should be able to head up, I guess? So this was just all, like, a big side area. Hmm. And we did get a health upgrade out of it, so I'm certainly not disappointed we went in there. Oh, oh that's right, that's how we just get back in there. Oh, don't have enough uh, charge here. The green gems. All right, this should be the way to continue forward. Got some more of these uh, angry faces here. Well, that one dash attack does not kill them either, so that's good to know. There's some more of those blobs. Weird looking things. Uh, it's gotta be a way in here. Ooh. These guys are pretty fast. From there. Ooh, we dropped a lot of money. So I'm almost up to that 900. We'll see if there are any other different upgrades when we go in there, or if it's just extra lives. I mean, if I can just buy extra lives, that's fine too. Still have no way of killing those guys. Maybe if we hit them from underneath. I'll definitely kill this blob guy. Ah, there's a key. Pass I don't know what I just picked up there. I think it was a feather item. So we need a key here somewhere. Question is, where the heck is it? Be careful about those spikes. Not sure if those are instant death. I don't think they are. Well, there's a save point at least, and a door. Question is, do I go in that door or do I look for the key first? I think I better look for the key, because I get the feeling once I go through that door, I'm not coming back here. However, hmm, we can't go through there. So where is the key? I have no idea. Oh, psh, it's right here. Well, let's certainly get all this money before we go anywhere. Uh, I bet that block underneath is breakable. Yep. So this will take me back... out, kind of. Actually, it did not take me where I thought it would. Kind of one of those spawner walls there. Took a little damage, but I think it was worth it. Maybe get a heart in here. Yeah. A lot of stuff up here. No way down, though. That is a door. Um, is that going to be the door that leads us to the area? Or is there going to be another door over this way? There are a lot of enemies here. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm going to keep going this way. See if maybe... Oh, there's a health upgrade. Nice. There's a shop over here, too. Definitely take a stop in there. Alright, um, health refill, extra life, magic feather, get some more revive bottles. 
Oh, we can only buy one. Uh, I guess we'll buy the extra life. <laughs> Got a casual shopper achievement. Oops. Oh, we can re-enter and buy more stuff. There we go. Yeah, I still, I still can't resolve the issue of the music and there being super loud. Unless I just readjust it in real time. No apologies for that. I do have to go up here. And I guess, I mean, it seems like those are the only items, so I don't think I'm wasting any money or anything. Uh, definitely want to go down here. We have a breakable block behind him, which is odd. Wouldn't mind some more attack range. I don't think that's gonna happen, though. Another blob, he's blocking a door. I don't think I'll be able to sneak up on him. Oh, ran out of juice there. Let's go for regular attacks. There we go. Where am I now? Okay, I'm back by the save point. That's by where the uh, key is, or the lock is. We can sneak through here. Uh, there's gotta be a way in here, right? Maybe we just have to go around. You never notice it made a crashing sound when you actually hit the wall there. I always forget that they're gonna drop a ton of money. I don't know why, I just keep on moving. Pretty safe. Uh, I could go down there for a few extra coins. Ah, but there's treasure chests, so I will go down there. I don't think there's a, we're ever gonna find like a health upgrade or anything in there, but still, nice to get gems and uh, bigger feathers. A lot of stuff here. Uh, it's definitely, well, I have to go that way, actually. Wait for this guy to get out of the way, actually. There we go. Nothing there. Another blob. These things are so weird looking. Here we go, where are we heading now? Oh, okay, so we have a map screen here. Heading further up. Oh, new, whoa, what the heck is that? A giant angry demon face or something. Can I attack it? I can. <laughs> and its jaw kinda wobbles back and forth when I hit it. It's got a lot of health, it takes four dashes to kill. Must be a breakable... There we go. Very fancy background. Cathedral area. Very Castlevania-esque. Alright, I don't actually need to dash gray blocks, just the yellow blocks. Can I sneak through here? No. That guy's kind of in my way. Uh, there's definitely hidden something here. Can I go down here? 
Nope, that's... That is death. That's unfortunate. Kind of a waste of a life trying that out, but... I had to find out. At least we're almost up to 900 for another extra life here. I'm definitely not going for that again. Not worth the piddly amount of coins that it cost. Or that uh, I gained, rather. Gotta be a way to get up in there. Oh, there we go. Head back down the tower. That was weird. Two sides, like two paths. There's another one of those giant heads there, too. Oh, here's another one. I can take this guy out. A little tough because I kind of have to use some of my special meter to get up to him first. Not a lot of room for error, basically. Oh, you did drop a lot of money. Get back for some of it. I don't want to make him respawn either, though, so I gotta be careful about that. Oh, there's another one. Holy cow. Alright, we'll just leave that guy alone. A lot of nice stuff here. I think I saw this through the wall, didn't I? Alright, we got a blob. Blocking the door. I like to do that, it seems. I'll drop some money. Thank you very much. Alright, locked door. So we're gonna have to go a little bit of a roundabout ways to get through here, I guess. Unless there's a hidden passage. Nah, I didn't think so. It'd be a little too easy. There's the key. If I wanted to get that treasure chest, I'd have to go up and around. <laughs> it was one coin. Oh, that's a dirty trick. Uh, we could go through here. I wonder where this door takes me. Oh, health upgrade. Nice. Do have to do a bit of backtracking now, though, I think. But uh, perhaps I'll pause here for now, and we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. Helps a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.